All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are at Bill's Place off the Beaten Path Nursery in Lancaster. Check out his nursery if you're interested. He sells cuttings, he sells trees every single year at offthebeatenpathnursery.com. Bill is definitely one of the few experts in the Northeast, colder climates. Uh, you want to listen to Bill, he's got a lot to say. So first and foremost, today's video though is about pruning. And we're not gonna actually show you guys any of the uh, pruning that we're gonna do because we prune during dormancy. But Bill has uh, done a different style of pruning this year, something that I have been in a way preaching for years to you guys, which is really not pruning. <laughs> so the less pruning that you do, typically you're gonna have better lignified branches by the end of the season that can withstand the cold better. They're gonna fruit an earlier date. They're probably gonna produce more fruit and I would even argue that the fruit quality is slightly better. Thanks, Russ. Um, this style of pruning or lack thereof, I think is, is what I, I know Ross has been talking about for a long time, and that is um, minimal pruning, if, if at all. I heavily prune my trees, uh, typically because I sell cuttings. That's not recommended. That's not something that the average grower would want to do. Um, in fact, uh, a grower that really wants to taste really amazing figs and earlier will try to avoid uh, excessive pruning or harsh pruning. Uh, sometimes we think about like the more you prune like a, a rose, the more fruit or the more flowers you get from it and, with, and that can be true. Uh, with figs though, you, you are kind of messing with the hormonal balance a little bit and a lot of times they'll, they'll have a tendency you know, to grow more vegetatively. So, you know, one of the one of the challenges in the Northeast is just that we have a short season anyway. Right. So the fact that, you know, when you're pruning and they're gonna have to recover from that, put on all new wood, mm -hmm. uh, lignify it, put on little figlets and, and, um, and start to ripen them. Now you're looking at a deficit of about, you know, up to a month, I would say, because, you know, these were way early than, than what they would normally be. These would be normally, with the, the lignif unlignified wood that I, that I mentioned, with the, that green semi-lignified wood, you're talking about mid-October before ripening, and this right. one was quite different. So this tree is the Just Fruits and Exotics Black Madeira Knot, as we discussed. And um, like you said to me before this video started, this tree actually started producing main crop at the end of July. Yes. And we then uh, this is before pretty much any of my figs ripened by the way and I'm in a much warmer place than Bill and I have taken a very similar style of pruning where we just try not to prune them um, but uh, like Bill mentioned just to clarify he is getting this tree to ripen in the past when doing a lot of pruning let's say October yeah. so that's a huge difference that's almost two months of a difference I would argue the further we cut them back the further we head back our branches the later they're going to ripen. And so, um, you know, we don't really know exactly what the amount of time is. Let's say we prune a third of the growth. Well, what's the difference in the ripening time that's going to happen? We're not sure. If we prune them by, back, uh, by a half, if we prune them back by three fourths, what's the difference there in the ripening date? We're not sure. But what we do know is that if you at least preserve these apical buds, the lateral buds higher up on these branches, you're gonna see a lot more success. And Bill here is living proof of it. I'm living proof of it. I've been doing the same method that Bill has, cutting them really far back, the six to 12 inches every year, because they grow like crazy. And then Bill and I can profit from that in our nurseries and sell them as cuttings. Um, and the lignification process, as you can see to the very top, like there's only about a foot or so that, that is not lignified where um, I used to have this very variety. This is called Just Fruits and Exotics Black Madeira Knot. Mm -hmm. um, and this I had uh, in the orchard. And for years and years, I would cut, you know, get cuttings. And I would have to go about halfway down the tree before um, I, I would have lignified wood. Right. Um, so and this, people don't like unlignified wood when you sell it. Correct. Yeah, that's not, yeah. <laughs> not going to make people happy at all. Right. Um, so, and I, and I would even argue that green cuttings, you know, it's when, still good. Yeah, you could still you could yeah. still root them, but I, I mean, ideally, people root and they inspect the quality of the cuttings with their eyes, not with how well they did in the in the soil. But, right. Okay. Yeah. Continue. But but um, if you notice, like a lot of the where the crotches are, like the the branching, right. where it's occurring, that, that's from me not touching it. There's like the apical node. You can kind of see it's got that part. Obviously, is is done, but right. that wasn't from pruning. 
Um, exactly. And we just had a really mild winter, which is a great thing in the Northeast uh, if you really like figs because you're going to get a lot uh, and they're going to be much earlier. If you can maybe uh, get away with pruning and still encourage the tree to grow and fruit at the same time, well, that's going to be great. But I would argue, and probably Bill, you could chime in, do you know of any varieties that you could prune heavily yeah. and still have them fruit maybe at an early date like this? I don't think so. Even the early earlies, the Florias, uh, Ronde Bordeaux, Improve Celeste, these, these ones while early, I, I don't think could, especially when using the printing method that I use, they certainly wouldn't be able. As a matter of fact, um, there was another one that, that I didn't touch. There, there were only two trees in the orchard that I didn't touch because I had excess of them and this was one right. and the other one was Rockaway Green and the Rockaway Green um, produced almost well about a month and a half probably earlier than than typical and if you would ask me what's the t what are your first fruiting trees this year it would be those two yes. and and they should not be there's they're basically mid to mid late season figs so if I would have really pulled back on pruning uh, with these mature trees, yeah. uh, there's no telling how much fruit I probably would have gotten. So I want to thank Bill for making this video with us, teaching us this important lesson. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Check out Bill's nursery, and we will catch you guys for the next one, all right? Take care.